Well, today is a big week in terms of health care. You know, it's the two-year anniversary of President Obama signing his Obamacare into law. And oral arguments are going on about whether or not it's constitutional before the U.S. Supreme Court. I'm certainly hoping that the high court strikes down the law. I think it is clearly unconstitutional. And I'm working in the U.S. Senate to repeal it completely and to replace it with focused health care reforms that are truly focused like a laser beam on the problems that do exist. So I'll keep working hard in that regard. You know, unfortunately, in the last two years, almost everything that opponents like me said of Obamacare have been proved out, proved true. For instance, President Obama said Obamacare would lower health care spending and costs in the country. We now have unbiased, nonpartisan sources saying it's doing the opposite. $311 billion of more cost. President Obama said that your family health care premium would go down by $2,500. We now have the nonpartisan CBO saying, no, it's going up because of Obamacare by $2,500. And President Obama said, if you like the coverage you have before Obamacare, you can keep it. And now we know better. We know that Obamacare is forcing a lot of employers to drop their coverage, and those employees are being pushed to a government program. So I'm going to continue fighting until Obamacare is repealed, until it's fixed and replaced with good, common-sense, focused reforms.